Ukraine's large-scale counter-offensive will take place in coming weeks. Estonian Defense Minister Hanno Pevko expects to see more large-scale counter-offensive actions by Ukraine in the coming weeks and calls for not putting pressure on Ukrainians who know what they are doing. Pevko pointed out that it is essential to maintain support for Ukraine as the counter-offensive is ongoing. We all understand what this means. Both sides on the battlefield are suffering losses, which means that assistance to Ukraine is highly critical, Pevko said. Meanwhile, he said a major counter-offensive has not yet begun. We observe the presence of some brigades moving in different areas, but we still do not see large tank battalions in action. We are hopeful that we will see more activity in the coming weeks, the minister said. My message to everyone is don't put too much pressure on the Ukrainians. They know what to do, we are helping them, and they have to win the war," he added. Petro Pavel, the president of the Czech Republic, said that Ukraine has not yet launched a full-scale counter-offensive, but the first operations of the defense forces on several fronts constitute its moderate start. I believe that we have not yet seen a real counter-offensive. Everything is still ahead. Based on my military experience, I would call it formative operations, Pavel said. According to him, everything that the Ukrainian forces cannot achieve this year will have to be postponed at least until the next spring, with all the appropriate difficulties. The Czech president noted that the preparations for the counter-offensive lasted months, and this is quite natural, because it takes a long time to train significant military forces, provide them with equipment, teach them and get enough resources.